This is Shreya and you're watching The Book Butterfly. In case you're brand new to our channel, uh, it's been quite long that I've introduced my channel, right? So in case you're brand new to our channel, click the subscribe button and be the part of our online butterfly family. In today's video, we're going to talk something different, something unusual. That is the book that left me crying. And I'm telling you, it is very unusual that I start crying, reading a book, watching a series. Like, uh, you can ask my sister. <laughs> Anyways, so it is very unusual, all right, for me to at least start crying. And uh, when we talk about book, why, why am I so uh, emphasizing on this book? I don't know, but the very first book that comes to my list is very important because I am damn sure that you guys have already watched this amazing movie and I think all of you know it. <laughs> What makes a book so emotional? I would tell you what happens with me is when you read a book, you read certain character and that when the character is described in so depth, when you get to know everything, even a minute detail about the character, you feel that the character is somewhere related to you. He becomes a part of your life. And when you lose or something, something mishappens with that character, you ultimately start feeling that that has got into you. You were, you were a family member, somewhere, somewhere so related that anything happens to him, you feel sad about that. So that is the reason why I, I couldn't control my tears when I read these novels. And some of them I am definitely going to share. The very first book that comes to my suggestion is Shersha of Kargil by Deepak Surana. And let me tell you a harsh reality about a society. Before this, before this movie came out, nobody knew him. He had, he still have no big fan following, uh, still some uh, 300 to 400 or maybe, maybe five, 600 followers in his uh, Instagram handle. And I, I have been following him when he was at 200 something and I gave my review at that point of time because I got this book, accident, uh, book accidentally, one of my brother who's serving in the forces, he, he got me this novel and <laughs> I just read it and I was like, this is a masterpiece which is still unexplored by many of the individuals. So I just wanted to give this, I'll leave the link in description because even if you don't try the rest of the books, you should definitely give it a try because, because army has got a different, different, what do we say it? A uh, whole level of encouragement, uh, uh, bravery, I, I cannot put into words, right? That you should definitely give it a try when it comes to army. All the military books are gallantry, all are emotional. But what makes specifically this book emotional? Why am I suggesting it? So the reason is, as I've already mentioned, okay, there is a deep account of Vikram Batra's life. When he was a child, when he grew up how he, he didn't appear for NDA exam instead he appeared for CDS why did he do that he um, um, see movie may it was depicted that he was a, a hardcore aspirant right he wanted to join uh, the forces but still he didn't appear for NDA Kisi ke dimag mein ye nahi hai ki why didn't he appear for NDA and uh, tried CDS um, went through a CDS entry so there's there's this description how he did that and after that, after he passed out, uske baad unke job operations, when he was in the commando, uh, jo unki training thi, when he was there. It's good, yaar. we should thank the industry, I believe, that uh, this movie hai, ye pehle aa thi, but uh, still if it is uh, now so, at least people are cherishing it. Um, it's a love story, it's a uh, bravery, ho, anything, be it anything, but at least people are now... Uh, knowing him, everybody's talking about him, celebrated his birthday yesterday, so it's like a good thing, no, right, that people are knowing. There are many unsung heroes right now which people don't know about them. So maybe, maybe in future we'll come out with a movie on them as well. Now the second book that comes to my list is You're the Best Wife by author J.K. Pandey and I'm telling you this book is going to give you vibes of Chichore. I don't know if you've watched this movie Chichore. Chichore is a very awesome movie. Rahi hai. Ek Helly's Comet is an engineering student ki struggling life. Hoti hai. Or a love story, hoti hai, fir aage ki future story. So this, uh, you're the best wife, is a complete whole soul chichore. Okay, an engineering student hota hai, uske life mein ek uh, Helly's comet aata hai. Helly's comet ki alag cast hone ki wajah se, their cast issue hone ki wajah se, thoda sa struggle chalti hai life mein. Lekin finally they get married. Fir uske baad thodi se difficulties aa jati hain, harsh realities hain that I'm not going to tell you. Wo check kar lena. But I'm telling you. You'll literally be disheartened, okay? I couldn't... 
uh, I couldn't hold my emotion at that point of time when I was reading this. So, and I'm definitely sure you're going to love this novel. All of his books are amazing and the one I'm currently reading is An Unexpected Gift. Uh, I don't know, I'll come up with a video because this book is really unexpected. You can never expect such a gift in your life. Third book in my list is the book that got famous in India just because of Shushan Singh Rajput. So I am a person who read this novel quite uh, back and when I was, um, I don't know how are your perception, okay. When I saw this movie, I was completely... Seriously, because when you read this novel, there's always a difference okay? when you watch a movie and when you read a novel novel mein bahut sari aise cheeze hoti hain jo ki mention hoti hain no, movie, movies mein nahi dikhai jati hain even when you'll read Shersha of Kargil I'm telling you when you'll just finish that novel you'll watch that movie again you'll feel that bahut sari cheeze to batai nahi hai yaar because that is obvious you cannot uh, give whole, whole of that account in that uh, small limited time period the girl was a cancer patient and fell in love with an amputee and ex-basketball player. That uh, was the first thing that got me into connected with it. And if you've seen the movie, okay, I saw a glimpse of movies of the foreign foreign directed. So I saw it. It was it was really cute. The girl was very cute, and the way the boy was addressing her that was way too marvelous. And I'm telling you, if I had to compare Indian movie with the uh, uh, Hollywood movie, I would definitely go for Hollywood because that was way more prettier. Uh, though Shushant has done a commendable job, it's not up to him, okay, that he has left, he was left out with something. But Shushant was way more funny and that thing I am going to accept and I'm going to appreciate him for that. Though he's not there between us today, but uh, his movies, his, uh, his everything, okay, his nature, everything stays with us forever. And he was one of the finest actors in Bollywood. Cystic fibrosis. Okay, so the next book that I'm going to tell you about is five feet apart a commendable novel okay now uh, the very fine line the my best line about this novel is uh, they were restricted okay they, uh, these two patients were restricted they were lovers they, they got restricted that you are not supposed to come closer uh, there has to be a distance of six feet between both of you and you're not supposed to share anything now just okay i don't know you may have perception but uh, just think okay i felt yeah okay, you love a person you cannot even touch him just keep things apart, keep th keep uh, everything aside, uh, kissing, hugging, or right? keep everything apart, but you cannot even touch him. So that was the moment like, oh, how, how, how emotional is that thing? There was a moment when Stella or Will, both of them are conversation kar rahe hote hai, and she tells him that life has been a lot of life, so we can feet to one feet. They were restricted to have a distance of six feet and they decided to make it five. So that is the title of the novel, Five Feet Apart. It would be injustice if I don't include Khaled Asani's books. And I have this to two books in total, The Kite Runner and The Thousand Splendid Sons. <laughs> Both of books, thanks Anjali and Digvijay. Uh, I was able to have these two books because of you guys. So, and um, I don't think that I need to include this because everybody knows about Khaled Asani when it comes to talking about these heartache novels. So that's it, yeah, because I cannot afford to <laughs> Fiji. I was able to afford at least these four books, uh, six books in total to cry. And if I just left out something, so let me know. Um, should I try some more books? Though I can't really, I can't cry. But that's it, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And Jana. Jana, care for Shesha? Pass my sujoba. ये दिल मांगे मोर सर ये दिल मांगे मोर